Hi guys, I wanted to take the time to make maybe a series of videos on the chain rule. So the chain rule, we use that to differentiate composite functions. And so a composite function would be like f composed of g of x. Now, I could rewrite f composed of g of x as f of u as long as I identified u as my middle function. So the way that we are going to take the derivative of something that's a composite function is we are going to take the derivative of f of u and we're going to multiply it by the derivative of u. What that means, let's write that out first. So d dx, remember that's the notation for take the derivative of f of g of x, which would be equivalent to d dx of f of u of x as long as you keep the stipulation true. The way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna take the derivative of f with respect to u, and we're gonna multiply that by the derivative of u. We are going to take the derivative of the outside function, so that's the derivative of the outside function and multiply it by the derivative of the inside. Now, what I would keep in mind is when you take the derivative of the outside function, keep the inside the same. Okay, so that's going to be our rule for the chain rule. And when we were going to apply this rule is when we're going to have a composite function. So let's see how this works. Let's see how this works. Let's say that we have some function. Um, we want to find the derivative of y equals x plus 3 squared. Now this particular function, what we could do is, is we could expand this. And if we expanded this, this is the same thing as x squared plus 6x plus 9. And then we could take the derivative of that. And that's pretty simple, right? So this would be 2x plus 6. That is one way to find this derivative. Now let's find this derivative using the chain rule. So the chain rule says, take the derivative of the outside function and leave the inside the same. Well, the outside function, the outside function is this piece here. It's the squared piece. That's the outside function. Now, if I take the derivative of that, I'm going to multiply by a 2, and I'm going to drop one exponent. Now, this piece of it says, don't be lame, keep the inside the same. So we're going to keep an x plus 3 in here. And then the last part of that is to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of the inside would be 1. We can simplify. And when we simplify this by distributing in my 2, I get 2x plus 6. So two different ways to do this. We could expand it and take the derivative using the power rule. Or use the chain rule. In this case, they were probably the same amount of work either way. Um, but there will be cases where it's not going to be the same amount of work. So what we did here was we identified the outside function. We took the derivative of it. We kept the inside the same, and then we multiplied by the derivative of the inside. Let's try another one where um, it wouldn't be as easy to expand. Let's say we have y equals x cubed plus 4x to the fourth power. Now, we certainly could expand this. We could multiply this out 
four times. And at this point, we could do the product rule right here, or we could actually multiply this out, get it into a polynomial, and then use the power rule. Either way, that takes a lot of work. So let's try to apply this chain rule. What the chain rule says is take the derivative of the outside function. Our outside function is this fourth power. So the derivative of that would be four and then to the third. What I've done here is I've left a blank. Don't be lame, keep the inside the same. And then the last step of this, we're halfway done, the last step of this is to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the inside would be three x squared plus four. Now we probably want to make this a little bit prettier. We've got a lot of different ways to simplify this. We could expand this out and then multiply um, and then simplify. We could just move this to the front and distribute in the 4 to this piece of it. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, well, this is equivalent to 4 times 3x squared plus 4 times x cubed plus 4x cubed. I'm not going to touch this part yet because that... That's just ugly. So this is the same thing as 12x squared plus 16 times x cubed plus 4x cubed. So there are a couple of examples of using this chain rule. You're going to take the derivative of the outside function, don't be lame, keep the inside the same, and multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. And really what you're doing is you're decomposing functions here. This x plus 3 becomes our u. And then this squared becomes our f of u.